Hey everyone, we've got 850 subscribers! Oh, thank you. You're so kind. So kind. Thank you. Good morning. Morning. Sorry, Pip's making me laugh. <laughs> We're off into town. Yes. Because the shops are open again. So but, we've left it a week, though, haven't we? But it's very. It is now. It is twenty-five to nine. Yeah. We're going in before the great unwashed descend upon the town centre, so that we can have a look, see, and get. We've got a couple of bits we need to get, haven't we? Yeah. And then we just want to have a quick, quick. Just a recce. Quick recce. Let's see. Let's see what people are up to. And are they behaving themselves? Whether they're co-idiots or not. Well, let's not go there, eh? Right, we'll catch up with See you. See you in town. Yeah, in the shops. Turn the camera on. We're here. Primark. First time it's been open for months. Nice and quiet, though. Months and months. Nice and quiet, which is what our plan was. Yeah. Right, so we... let's go. Let's do it. That's quite cool, actually, isn't it? But can I just, I know everyone's got to make some money up because they've lost so much business. £10. How was it? Primark t-shirt never used to be £10. To be fair, it's quite a thick cotton. Yeah. What else we got? It's quite sweet. I think it is Yeah. £8. Okay. And socks, which are £2.50. Shoe liners. Yeah, shoe liners. Trainer socks. Yeah. There's hoodies around the outside. Oh. Yeah, show us the back. Together we can make a difference. Not overly struck all the colours. Yes, it's very, it would be... Um, £16. It's very faded, isn't it? The, um, and this, this colour is not you though, is it? It's more expensive than they used to be. Yeah. Oh, these are cute. That's cute. Seeing that one's 12. It's quite a steamboat, isn't it? Good vibes only. That's a sweatshirt, isn't it? Yep, and that's... 12. Oh, okay. What have we got around here? Cute poo t-shirt. That's nice. Just plain, seven. Oh look, it's a... That's quite fun. Poo and piglet story. Seven. T-shirt. Lots of sweatshirts going on. So that Minnie and Daisy, is it? Oh no, uh, it's, it's the all gang, all the gang. Black. Oh, we've got a stitch. That's pretty. Ten. Again, ten for a t-shirt. That's quite thick, though. Yeah. We've got lots of t-shirts. Lots of mini t-shirts. Mickey t-shirts. Oh, these are sweats. Slightly cheaper at eight pounds. Yeah. Because it's not hanging up. Got stitch stuff. Let's get rid of that. I'm not sure what that is. Mini mouse. Who's that? Pink Panther. Excellent. Got lots of Disney stuff. How much are these t-shirts? Five quid. Of various types. Dumbo. Some more stitch stuff. Lots of Winnie the Pooh. And Lion King. And some shorts as well by the looks of it. Yes, there's some. Same colour as the tops. Oh, bother shorts. Yeah. Oh, that, that'd be good for oh bother, wouldn't it? Four pounds. <laughs> this is all sustainable cotton stuff and it's a sort of PJ bits and bobs. Even some scrunchies. Oh, yeah. Boy, do you not need scrunchies. Oh, 
There's the usual proliferation of socks and Be stuff. Because everything's been shut, this has become the Disney store more than ever. PJ Bottoms. They've gone for some very dumbed down colours. Earth, yeah. earthy tones, haven't they? I guess you can mix and match them all, can't you? Yeah. They're quite cute though. usual PJs in the packs which are ten pounds they've got some nice bags haven't they they have oh that's cute as well oh they've got Star Wars as well yeah Hogwarts they've got Grogu bags big and small they're that full leather Reminds me of the old football holders I used to have when I went yes, to school. Yeah, very 80s. So the homeware stuff, it's got duvets and flannels and tea towels, which is nice. A thumper on. Looks like Bambi's getting some love. So there's some more Disney stuff here. I think we've seen all this before though. There's those cushions, gold trim, some Mickey snack bowls, cookie cutters, the usual mini pillow. This one for Jay, isn't it? Eel yeah, yeah. bag. Got Mickey fake cactuses, Eel cushions. Castle mugs, Angel and Stitch throws, more Winnie the Pooh's cushions and stuff, Winnie the Pooh throws, and water bottles. There's not too much stuff in here, as you can see. And there's those, yes, they're wooden top. Um, lunch boxes and they're actually glass that's good so it's very sustainable and looks like that must be bamboo oh that's good wooden plate very very fun and the bottles which are glass so these bamboo there's, they're listed as plates, but I guess you could use them to put your um, wax melts or your candles in to keep them off your surfaces in a nice Mickey shape, so that's pretty good. I quite like the glass lunch boxes though, very good. Not great for kids though. Yeah, but it'd be great for me to take food to work, wouldn't it, and uh, give it a zap in glass. Yeah? Five quid. The bottle is five quid and the plate thing is five, six quid, I think. Well, so, yeah. in all honesty, it's a bit less plastic in the world, isn't it? Yeah, it so, is, yeah. yeah. This throw is so, it feels very luxe. Yes, yeah, it's nice. got an embossed stitch, Mickey, and that, yeah, isn't it? Yes, and the cushion is nice as well. Yeah. But we have a bazillion cushions. Indeed we do. Oh, well. So it seems they've got plush toys in here now, look. They haven't had plush toys before, have they? Never. Hey, Lotso. Donald. It's a oh. Donaldo. Oh, he's actually really cute. He's really cute. Oh, he does something. Oh. <laughs> oh, his cheeks up. Why are Donald's cheeks lighting up? That's quite random. <laughs> and he is fun. 10 pounds. And there's a they Goofy. Got goofy and Buzz and Angel and oh, they Pooh. They all sort of do something. A rather washed out Mickey. Various other characters. Lots of those cute. Lots of Disney stationery. Hmm. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. What's that book called? Monster Book of Monsters. Yeah. Basically Monster. turned into a department store. Yeah. Oh, and lots of uh, lots Mickey of bits and bobs. Notebooks. Puzzles. What's this? 
So in here you've got a two pack of pencils, A4 notebook and an A5 notebook. Okay. In a nice sustainable cotton bag. That's cool. What's Pip found? Oh, it's a weekly planner. Weekly planner pad. So I'm guessing you rip one off and start the next week. Oh, okay, that's good. That's quite fun. Not that we have much to put on our planner in the last year. Yeah. Have I got a lot of these calendar things left by the looks of it. <laughs> and I've also got a Harry Potter one. As well. Oh yeah. Stitch. Lots of good stuff. Ooh. What's that? A file of facts. Plain though, it's not Mickey, is it? It's not Mickey, but it's £4.50, which is a damn sight cheaper than a real file of facts. Yeah. It's quite good. Weekly planner. That's lovely. Get planning in your holidays, everyone. £4.50. So the passport covers are still here. They're just teasing us, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. Luggage stuff. We will use it again one day. Yes. Fox mask. What does the box say? Actually, you look quite foxy in that, wouldn't you? Really? <laughs> oh, that's cute. That's very cute. Embossed Minnie Mouse case. That is Hand luggage size. 35. Not bad. Plus, they have the usual Epcot type. Oh, yes. And, I and bought, Mickey. I bought this just before in yeah. march just before the first lockdown so i still haven't had a chance to use it yeah. it's all pippa's fault this happened totally yeah i, I just you know blame pippa everyone so we're we going on a ride Yay! first ride we've been on oh i just got a shock off the hand rail. you get that sometimes don't yeah you? it's telling me not to touch it that's what it is yes exactly here we go Whee! Sometimes the men's stuff is disappointing, isn't it? In yeah. Mark, but we'll see. Well, this certainly isn't MCO monorail, is it? I have been shopping, but it's for a friend. So they've actually got some uh, men's t-shirts. With uh, that's quite fun. With shorts. Yeah. Have a tiny Nicky touch. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So these are PJs, aren't they? And these I'm are the sustainable cotton, by the way. Organic yeah. cotton. Organic cotton. Eleven. Oh, that's quite good. That's it though, yeah. What you found, Pip? Men's Mickey socks. Oh, right. Oh, they look quite nice, the actually. Organic, they look actually quite thick. Yeah. Which is quite good for in trainers when you're in the parks and you're walking all day. Six yep. pounds. <coughs> My birthday soon. Not that you've got any socks at all. What? Just saying. I like socks. I think the viewers need to see your sock collection at some point. Do they? Yes. Stand by viewers for my sock collection. <laughs> <laughs> Riveting viewing. So the blue ones. So the dark blue ones have actually Mickey's face. Got more of a pattern on yeah. them, aren't they? Yeah. Oh yeah, look, it's at the top. Oh, okay, that's good. Because sometimes the patterns are right by the foot and then yes. you can't see them. Yes, please. Is that a yes, baby? Yes, please. Oh, okay. So they've got some gents, Mickey, as well. It's a men's range. Yeah. Finally. Although, it's up so high, I can't tell you how much it is. Just a grey hoodie, though, isn't it? Yeah. What else they got? Oh, okay, it's down here. It's 14. It's quite nice. They've got a nice embossed t-shirt. It's a cream t-shirt. That's really nice, it isn't it? It feels like a really nice quality, actually. Yeah, it does. Eight. Heavy. And that's that kind of rubbery embossed on it. Yeah. Oh, and some jogging pants some with Mickey on. Wow. Finally, probably. Another t-shirt. Oh, if you look at the banding at the back, look, it's got Mickey's around it. Okay, this one is embroidered. Oh, okay. Does that mean it's rough on the back? Yeah. Yeah, so be aware that Oh no, they've covered it over though with some sort of... Well, that's, that's eight as well. This actually feels like really nice quality. The joggers are... Twelve. Twelve quid. And that's the rubbery type stuff. Yeah. Are they fluffy inside? They... I guess they are, aren't they? Yeah. Yes. 
so definitely not a summer pant but yeah well done Primark I've had plenty of time to sort it out though isn't that right Mrs B? Absolutely. Hello everyone have you had a stressful day? We haven't we? Yeah. Oh, the days just grind and grind and grind. Do you need to relax? Are you stressed? We and are. Breathe. So we're going to give you 10 seconds of nice chill calm music just so you can namaste relax. Cue the music. Do you feel better? I feel much better. Calm, relaxed, we yes. do. Yes, yes. Anyway, you're welcome. We hope you enjoyed this moment of Bill Ways Away Zen. I need some little bells. Mm. Not little balls, little bells. <laughs> Hello and welcome. So I'm going to do a Lego time lapse. It's a brick head. And for all you Disney fans, it's Captain Jack Sparrow. I've had him a while, I forgot I had him, because I built Salazar. And then I couldn't see Jack in my uh, collection. So I thought, oh, where's Jack? So I hunted for him and I found him. So new setup today, I'm gonna to do it at the table so it's a bit clearer. So here we go. Time-lapse, Brickhead, Captain Jack Sparrow. There we go, Captain Jack all finished. Nice little build. Even though you saw that I mucked a bit of it up, so I had to uh, take a few bits off and replace them. But yeah, pretty good brickhead. One of the Series 1 ones. So I've been after him for a while and I finally got him. So a nice little cutlass. He's got his bandana. Some good detailing on his belt buckle there. Yeah, good little build. So I'm going to put his buddy, Armando Salazar, on there with him so you can see them both together. So in series one they obviously did Captain Jack and Salazar as a pair, along with um, the Beast and Belle, and that was uh, part of series one. So there's Salazar, looking dead as usual. So they make a nice pair, so they look good together on my display upstairs with all the other brickheads. Then sit, beauty. Really? A traumatic day my yesterday. Hair looks like floofy. Floofy. Skin cut. Cut tomorrow. Yes. Right. Hello. It's us again. Someone's been shopping. Again. Yes. So much for only collecting Star Wars Lego is all I'm saying. I think I said a while back, oh, Harry Potter Lego. Yes, you, you poo-pooed it, poo -pooed didn't you? He poo-pooed. He poo-pooed the Potter, which is clearly not on anyway. Well, I'm poo-pooing my poo-poo. Yes, you are, aren't you? Well, you ended up buying the 
There is a means to... Uh, Platform nine and three quarters, didn't you? Yes. For the Christmas display. As you can see, I'm opening this now. There's method to my madness. Is this is all though? for my Christmas display. Which is going to take up the entire conservatory. Oh, yes. Don't know why we're going to have Christmas dinner this year. Oh, it's quite a big box, this year. Oh, it's bigger than I thought. And there we go. Oh, look. Ta-da! The Hogwarts Clock Tower. And it's Yule Ball, Yule Ball themed, say that correctly. Yule um, Ball, yes. Which is why Pete wanted it for the Christmas display. Because it's quite festive. Put that in. Do you want me to? There's Christmas trees and... Lots and lots There's of character, mi character mini figs in there. And the actual cocktail's got snowy bits on it. And you know the characters. There's Dumbledore and Madame Maxine. Oh yeah, Madame Maxine. Victor Crumb, Cedric Diggory, Fleur de Calour, Ron Weasley, Harry Potter, Hermione, or Hermione, normal people. Yeah, so I'm pleased with that. Yep. I've also ordered Hogsmeade. So when I order another jumper, I ain't gonna feel guilty. Pleased with that. Simple as that. Right, so in last week's vlog, you will have seen us unboxing a gift exchange from Tom and Kelly. Well, now it's time to sniff the wax melts. Cue the music. from the lovely Melt Wax shop. So I'll leave a link in description, of course. So my hair is so fluffy, what's that about? It's all like bloody Simba. You need frizzies. Right, so blue and purpley coloured one. So you can't look at the back because the, the answer is on the back. The writing's so small, I can't see it anyway. Okay. Okay. There's number Are one. Are it? Looks very pretty. Yeah, yeah they're sort of two-tone, aren't they? Sideways, otherwise, it looks like I'm covering your face up. I don't know. Sweet, sweet, sweets. Rhub Anything more than sweet? I don't know. Rhubarb and custard. <laughs> Not quite. It's. Well, what does that say? Blueberry cheesecake ice cream. Yeah, I was going to get that one. It's very pretty though, it's so it's all glittery and... It's a nice smell though. Sparkly. Well you had sweet, so I suppose that's something, isn't it? Is that a win? It's a win. No, it's not. One to me. No. I've got new slippers on. Why are you telling everyone you've got new slippers on? It's slippers. I've got blue clown feet now. Oh, my days. Welcome <laughs> to my world, viewers. Uh, so we've got a very pretty blue and white one now. Can I cleanse with tea? Oh, really? Have a quick. Oh yeah, that that to me. Now I know what it is. That though, of to course. Me is okay. With me. Try that one. <laughs> Chinese laundry. Okay, you're you well. Washing powder. <laughs> well, ocean spray. So, you're kind of on the right lines. It's tides out. <laughs> That's in focus. Soft towels? Yes, yeah, so I'm guessing fluffy towels when they come out of the wash. So fa fabric conditioner, washing powder smell. We could we could let him have that one, couldn't we? Yes, two out of two. It wasn't two out of two. Okay. Beat that, Tom. Tom, I started it. Sorry. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, well, I'm hoping Tom and Kelly are going to do a sniff off with yeah. their wax melts as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that. You do it. Oh, you're never going to get this one. Okay, so we've got a <laughs> so what's pretty, pretty blue one. It's not as strong as the soft towels one. I don't know, caramel? 
Blue Caramel. Blue Orchid. Hint of detergent. What? Blue Cotton Candy. Oh, so it's nearly right. Ah, <sighs> Jerry, man. don't know. And then, very pretty pink and green one. What's pink and green? Pink and green. Yeah, the colour is a bit of a clue, actually. You might get it. Okay. Closer. My nose okay. isn't that big. Oh my days. I don't know. Just take your time. It's just, you know, we've got... Sweet apple. I don't know. So I think... What is it? We might have to give him that. Apple and raspberry. <laughs> And no, that is not four for four. Four for four. It's not four for four. Oh, just hair, what is going on? Just... Frizzies. And that concludes Pete Sniff's Wax Mail. Successfully. No! I'm getting better. Wasn't. Comment below, that was a success. No, it wasn't. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Anyway, next. It's us again. <laughs> yes, a few little other bits have arrived and we yes. thought we'd better show you in this blog. Little postscript. Yes. Right, tell people your news. Oh, right, yes, I had some amazing news this morning. So you've probably seen in the vlogs, if you've been sticking with us, that I buy an awful lot from Diz T World, the lovely, lovely Amanda, who's so clever and creative. And this morning she asked me to be a brand rep. So I am super, super excited. I don't think it's just me. I think there's some other people going to be brand reps as well. Um, I don't have much more details yet. I know I will have a code to share with people. So stay tuned for a bonus vlog very soon with all the details about it and how you can get a discount. And yeah, super exciting. So. Ah! Well done, Mrs. B. Thank you. I've got some mail. It's not Lego. Don't panic anyone, it's not Lego. Hang on, I feel I need to put my hot chocolate down. Right. What an odd box. But this is to help out the channel. Yeah. This is from Menkind, everyone. They're pretty much in every town, aren't they, Menkind? And they're online. All the yep. gadgety stuff. And we were walking past. Saw this Sunday. in the window. And we're... So we ordered it online. It's a little vlogging kit. So we're actually going to have a ring light for some decent light. Yes. Because we get, we've got kitchen window this side, we've got conservatory that side, and we've got weird light and shadows and goodness knows so what's going on. It's got a light, on. something to hold the phone, and I am going to get a little microphone as well for the, for the and phone. Our, our vlogging area, because at the moment we're in the lounge, yeah. we are going to set one up somewhere. Set yeah. possibly up in our Lego holiday rooms. So. Yes. So that's good. Yep. So that'll help us. And how much was that, my love? 20 quid. So men kind are doing 20% off quite a lot of stuff at the moment. That was not bad. Oh, and you had a voucher code or something as well, didn't you? Oh, well, yeah, when you go on a website, they give you an extra 10% off or something. Every little thing. Which paid for the postage and packing, I think. So. Excellent. They come in a couple of days. And You've got a little something as well. And you? finally, as they say on the news, um, I bought a candle. Surprise. This one's from Scent Sorcerer. So I haven't bought anything from Scent Sorcerer for a sorcerer for quite a while because I'm trying to work my way through my wax melt hoard but he started doing actual candles and even Pete was intrigued by this one because it's a Marvel Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. inspired themed candle so I'll just show you the top it comes in a tin so tin and there's the people uh, know what a tin is I hope that's in focus so that's the it's, shield eagle. That's the Tahiti project is the theme of the candle. Strategic Homeland Interventions Enforcement. Shield. Thanks for that, my love. So, but this is you. a very quick bonus Pete Sniffs Wax Melt. So it's got a wood wick inside. It's not a crackly wick, not the one that makes the, the noises. A wood wick. A wood wick. So, okay, here we go. What do you think? I think it smells incredible. Very different. 
Please don't say washing powder. Please don't no. say washing powder. I don't know. Oh, that smells amazing. I know when you tell me, I can't pin it down. Well, it hasn't got a specific no. smell, but it's got elements of coconut. Yeah. And fruit. So like oranges and lemons and citrus. I'm sorry, and fruit. coconut and fruit. Of course you were. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to get burning that one. It smells incredible. Stephen at Scent Sorcerer, if that's the first one, I cannot wait for the next ones. Yeah, I kind of sit here sort of getting high on it, really. Yeah, enough of that. Sorry. <laughs> so, yeah, his Etsy store, I'll leave a link in the description. Or you could try to grab his uh, QR code on your phone. If I leave that there, you might be able to grab it. There you go. I'll go, go and give him a follow on Insta. Anyway. That concludes, doesn't it, yeah, my that's the end of Home Vlog 10. 10? Seriously? Mm. Well, we're hoping next Sunday's... It'll be a bit, little bit quite, different. Quite special, hopefully. Yes, so. so stay tuned for that. Yes. And thank you so much for watching. Please like, please subscribe. Please share. Yes. That would be amazing. Spread the word. And... We'll see you in the next one. Yes, we will see you in the next one. Bye for now. Bye. P.S. P.P.S. Little, little postscript. Here's one for Theme Park Bazza. Bazza, if you're watching, this has got Red 5 on it. <laughs> Saw that, thought of you, Red 5. Of course, this isn't a nice red car, but there you go. Yes, Pete's going to have Small to... Small world. Pete's going to have to get a bit of base and a bit of blusher. I've got a light, you know. Can't be washed out now, my love. I think you're dressing as a clown.